Hi guys, my hair looks absolutely wild at the moment because I'm about to take a shower. Um, I worked out this morning and then since then it's been crazy. I actually don't even know what time it is. Let's see, it's 2.18. And uh, like I said, I worked out. I've been working all day long, been filling orders, done a ton of emails. And then one of our family friends came over to visit, so I chatted with her a little bit. But I figured I would do like a vlog and then share some of my like new summer favorites with you guys because there's some jewelry, there's some skincare that I've been loving. There's just like all kinds of little stuff. And then also part of today's video is actually sponsored by Marlo, which I will get into in just a little bit. Um, but right now I've got to take a shower and then we'll get into all the good stuff. But I did want to have an intro. Also, um, like I said, I'm about to take a shower, but... There were some other things I want to talk about and some things from my past video, if you guys saw it, the one where I, like, addressed everything that's been going on, um, that I just wanted to chat about, that I wanted to have a little chit-chat. Also, uh, I bought a new shower curtain liner, so I'm going to be putting that on while I do it. It's a vlog, alright? It's a vlog. So, um, there's just been some crazy stuff going on in my life. All good things. All really good things. It's just been wild. Also... Everyone's been asking me for a fitness video. I will be doing one of those. I just don't know when. Um, so, this is the crappiest shower liner in America. What is this? Whatever. Anyways, so, some things I wanted to address. Okay, yesterday whenever I was filming uh, my skincare routine, I told you guys, I think I told you guys I was going to show it to you. My camera completely shut off and I don't know what the problem is. Couldn't tell you. However, um, I wanted to get into today's sponsor of the video and then share with you guys some of my favorite products that I've been loving and using for the summertime because I haven't been posting as much as you know. I've been going through some things. Um, so I was like, I want to get on here and share some things just that I've been using and that ne wouldn't necessarily like fit in a, a beauty YouTube video or something like that. So I've got um, lots of new jewelry. Actually, I forgot my bracelet in there, but I can go get it in a second. I've got a perfume, which a perfume video should already be up. And then um, some pimple patches and stuff like that. So today's sponsor of the video is Marlo. And if you've ever heard of Brooke Linen, they're actually the sister company with Brooke Linen. And whenever they reached out to me, I was like, oh yes, I would love to try your new pillows because I am the pickiest person in the world when it comes to pillows. I've had a million and ten brands I've done. Like, if you can think of a pillow, I've tried it because I am so picky. And I used to sleep with, like, four because I like, like, a firmness. Like, I want to sleep on a firmness, but I also want something cushiony and soft. But I don't like a feather pillow because I don't want feather pillows to stab me. You know what they do. You know how they stab. So, anyways, um, I have been trying out their pillows and I love them. Also, I know you guys will like seeing the B-Reel, but I like, like I said, a firmer pillow and these have a zipper. So, and it doesn't like actually unzip the pillow. It just allows it to be softer. So if you don't want it to be so firm, you can unzip it halfway. You can unzip it all the way. You can do whatever you want to get whatever kind of um, firm or softness that you want for your pillow. I keep mine, both of them all the way zipped up because I do like a firmer pillow. But if you want it to be a little bit softer, you can totally do that. Also, these are made of hypoallergenic fibers inside, so there's no feathers or anything like that. So if you're like allergic to some sort of feather, you don't have to worry about that. They're also just extremely cushiony, like they just feel nice. And they're made with this fabric that makes them feel cool, like legitimately cool. You know how you'll have like cool sheets, cool pillowcases, that sort of thing? These are like cool pillows. And I love that about them because I don't want to ever set my head on a pillow and it be warm. That's disgusting. Um, if I am stressed out, my head, like my neck is always really tense and I just feel like I'm kind of a tense person anyways, just in general. And so I was like, I really want to test these pillows and make sure that they are, like they feel nice on my head. You know what I mean? Like whenever I wake up in the morning, I'm like, oh, my neck doesn't feel stiff. My neck doesn't feel tight or anything like that. <laughs> Excuse me, I got the hiccups. And I love them. Like they just feel nice. Like they just feel like luxury pillows. You know what I mean? So I have a link down below and you can use them. You can get two. If you buy two, you get 25% off. And then if you buy four, you actually get 40% off with the link down below. And I highly recommend them. I literally die for them. And I've been sleeping on, actually, sometimes I just sleep on one. Sometimes I sleep on two, just depending. Like sometimes I want to be propped up. You know what I mean? But I do, but mainly I just love the, the cool memory foam and like how it just feels cool on your head and also the fact that you can unzip it to make it softer I think that's genius because if you buy them for like you and your husband or whoever then if they're like oh I like a softer pillow but you like a firmer you just unzip it 
it's as simple as that. You know what I mean? They're also just cute. Like I just really think that they're cute pillows and I've got the little Marlo logo. <laughs> That's adorable. Anyway, so thank you so much to Marlo for partnering with me on a portion of today's video. I'll have all the information and everything linked down below um, as far as the pillows and all of this stuff goes. The next thing, I actually have like, I'm telling you the most random products, but I was like, I've been loving these for the summertime. I've got to talk about them. I picked this up in Sephora a couple, I guess it was about three weeks ago. Um, anyways, this is from Day and my friend Caitlin that you all know I go on trips with and we hang out all the time. She told me about this brand and I'd seen it before and Whitney Simmons, I believe, had posted about it um, being like one of her favorite hair care brands. And I just never tried it because I'm not that big of a hair care person. Um, and this is the Hibiscus Wave Spray. I used to use the Not Your Mother's Beach Spray, and it was a very, like, sea salty sort of spray. And this one is, it says it's a weightless hydrating formula that creates soft, effortless waves. And that's exactly what it is. Like, if you've ever used a sea salt spray, that you, then you'll know it kind of... And Claire, if you've ever used a beach spray, then you know that they kind of weigh your hair down and make your hair feel, like, sticky. Or they'll be, like, cute for a little while, and then after you know, 45 minutes, an hour, your hair doesn't look so good anymore. And it's kind of like, mm, just weighed down and kind of nasty, greasy looking. This does not do that. It also has a really light, like a really yummy scent. Like I wore this again, we went, me and Caitlin went to Lexington and uh, I had this in like the little front pieces of my hair because I wanted them to have like texture. And so I had a ponytail and all the little lighter pieces around my face, I put, I sprayed that on them and sprayed in my roots so that it would be uh, more voluminous and just kind of like a beachy, effortless vibe and it looked so stinking cute it was really adorable and I was like dang I really like that but it never made my hair feel crispy it never made it feel like really dry or anything like that I just think that it's a really good balance between a weightless texturizing spray that doesn't really create that much texture just more so the volume like it creates the effect of texture without the actual texture if that makes sense and so I love this and the only thing is it makes your floor really sticky so be prepared for that but other than that you know um, also this, I have literally blown through a thousand and ten of these. I was talking to my friends the other day about just like having your skin in the summertime and it's just wild and out. My skin, I think just from being outside and it's so muggy and humid here in Kentucky the past few weeks, months, but especially the past few weeks because we've had crazy rain and then it'll just be super hot. And so my skin just feels really congested and I've been doing chemical pills and like doing all the things to help my skin. That's why I'm not wearing any makeup and I do have these two pimple patches on. It's annoying. But anyways, um, these are the, I've tried a million and 10, a bunch off Amazon, a bunch off like the Korean um, skincare websites, all that kind of stuff. But the Mighty Patch, just in general, I think is the best. I think it's literally just hydrocolloid, hydrocolloid. Yeah. Um, I don't know what that specific ingredient does, but every time I use these, whenever I take it off, the pimple or the area where the pimple was is less red, less inflamed, less irritated. It's shrunk down or it's either literally taken it off. It also keeps me from rubbing over because a lot of the times if I have a pimple, I'll just like rub, rub over the pimple and be like, is it still there? Like, yeah, you idiot. It is still there. And if you keep rubbing it, it's going to have friends and it's going to invite its friends. But ugh. anyways, so I love these. I bought a 72 count for $21. I picked up more yesterday because I just have one pack left in here. Um, so if you're in the market for a pimple patch, I love these. They're the best. So I'll leave those linked down below. Next is actually this perfume from Tom Ford. If you've watched any of my perfume videos, you know that I love Tom Ford perfumes. Um, a lot of perfumes don't really sit on my skin or they'll just, you know, you can't really smell it for a long time. Marshmallow based perfumes and Tom Ford perfumes are my go-tos. So this is the Tom Ford Black Orchid. And whenever I first got this, I wasn't so crazy about it. And I never wore it until two weeks ago on a Sunday. And uh, I wore it and then I was like, oh yeah, that smells really good, you know, blah, blah. And then I went to go grab that shirt. It was just a white cropped button down that I had worn. And I was gonna wear it to a, um, to a Cincinnati Reds and Atlanta Braves game. And I, whenever I pulled it out of my closet, I was like, oh my gosh, this smells so good. What is that? And it was this, it was this perfume. Uh, Cause I remembered I'd put it on. So I just got the travel size. I want to say this is around like $65, $70. So it is expensive, but I'm telling you, it is one of the longest lasting perfumes I've ever had in my life. And it's just phenomenal. The, the vibes that it gives me is very citrine and sexy. It reminds me of the Batman movie. Um, the one with Anne Hathaway in it. The Dark Knight. Is that The Dark Knight? Or The Dark Knight Rising? I don't know. But it gives me those vibes. It gives me like you're walking in the Batman uh, in Bruce Wayne's house, you know, in the manor. 
and it's all like very dark and like very woody and kind of mysterious like mysterious cute vibes but by cute I mean not cute at all definitely like mysterious and um but then you have Anne Hathaway and she's in there and she's vibing out and she's wearing her like slinky black dress with her mask you know and it's like you might be Catwoman you know what I mean you probably don't those are the vibes I get though and it just smells so feminine and sexy and mysterious and like just I'm telling you that literally whenever I smell that it's exactly what I think of if you know the scene that I'm talking about then you know the scene I'm talking about whenever they go into like the office or it's not a library I'm pretty sure it's just the office and Anne Hathaway's in there and then Batman comes in you know and then they fight that's the scene it's like this is exactly what she smells like she smells like a powerful woman wearing a black dress gonna finesse this man but she's not like he is already in love with her you know what I mean this is like if you wore this, it's almost intoxicating. Like it's an, an intoxicating perfume. It's just like, mm, I want to smell that again. And then it's like, that's a really nice different scent. I want to smell it again. Um, so that's my two cents on this. I really love that. It's just a really nice, beautiful fragrance. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about was actually jewelry. So I've been on the hunt for a lot of different jewelry pieces and for pieces that I could keep in my collection for a long time. You guys know that I love jewelry. I love quality things, not just something from Amazon that's, you know, $5. I think there's a time and a place for that, but not on your hand every day. So, I actually went into Kendra Scott the other day. And I have, if you'd have told me that I was going to buy anything in Kendra Scott, I'd have been like, you're drunk. Um, but it turns out they had really pretty jewelry and not bad prices. So, I picked up a few things and I was going to show you all. I know that I've talked about Linked, the label before, but um, it's one of my favorite jewelry companies of all time. The owner is really precious. I have, they've sent me PR, but I've also purchased from them and I, I love their jewelry. I wear it constantly. So, the first two pieces here, these are both linked to the label and I wear them constantly. They need to be cleaned. So don't look at this and be like, oh, that's exactly what it looks like. It needs to be cleaned. So this is the Ally bracelet and it also has a matching necklace. And then this one, I'm not sure which one this one is, but I can have it linked down below. And I have the smallest size in uh, both of these. I want to say this one's a six and a half and that you can buy a six, but I wanted to be a little bit bigger. And then this one's obviously adjustable. Then I got these two bracelets from Kendra Scott and this one has like the little Kendra Scott logo and this one has little stars all around it and then it's got the moon and a pink star and they were buy three get 25% off of those specific bracelets so I got this one as well with the little um pearl which I thought was really cute obviously this is my Cartier bracelet and then my earrings are um this is from linked oh I gotta talk about my ring this is from linked the label I'll have those linked. And then these are from Amazon. And I die for these. These are the ones I literally got my ears pierced in. So, I can't link those unless you want to go to Claire's and get your ears pierced. But these are from Amazon. They're $18. I wear them all the time. I love them. This ring was actually my mom's old engagement ring. And then this ring is from Anthropology. Whenever I saw this and I was in Anthropology, I was like, I'm, you're coming home with me. Immediately, if not sooner, you are coming home with me. I love that ring. So, uh, I purchased it. It's stunning. It's kind of an opal beautiful ring. I just thought it was incredibly elegant and like how stunning would that be if it was an engagement ring and uh instead of an opal in the middle it was a diamond and then had little like diamonds everywhere. Stunning. Oh this is also from Link the Label. Um so I have a ton of this stuff linked from Link the Label linked down below. Um and Link the Label I have a, a uh a link with them. I have a link with Link the Label and I think you get $5 off or $10 off or 15% off or something like that. But if you guys use that, then you get a discount code. Um, and let me go get the bracelet from Kendra Scott because it is so cute. Okay. This is the bracelet. Me and, actually, me and Caitlin actually got these uh, matching bracelets. And we were like, we hate ourselves. But I saw this. I picked it up. And I was like, I love this. And she was like, I love that. And I said, fine, we'll get matching bracelets. So we did. Um, it's just a really nice, pretty charm bracelet. And then it's got the little Kendra Scott a uh, charm with a little, I'm sure, cubic zirconium in the middle. Um, I don't, I'm not going to be able to put this on my hand, but I have a picture. So, I'll put the picture of mine and Caitlin's wrists. It just looks cute on, you know, decked out in gold jewelry. We love that. Golly, I'm bruised up. Anyways, um, so that's that. That is all for this video, I think. I'm going to end it here because it's already probably going to be pretty long. But thank you so much to Marlo for partnering with me on a portion of today's video. As always, everything will be linked down, linked down below so you guys can shop it. And thank you as always. Can I say that one more time? Uh, just thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to subscribe before you leave. Comment down below. Let me know your favorite summer things. If you have a new summer fragrance. 
um, body lotion. I'm always looking for new body lotions or um, just anything that you think I would like. Anything that's that's vibing with you right now. Okay. Let me turn that fan off so it's not so loud. Um, clearly, I just got out of the shower, but I figured while I put on my moisturizer, I would share some things with you guys. Um, that's just been kind of on my mind, on my heart, and then in response to, like, my last video. Also, I've been having little chest bumps. And so, I put a face mask on. I'll show you guys the face mask that I put on. I've used this for a hundred years. I do not know how I have any left. It is the Drunk Elephant TLC Sakari Baby Facial. I love this so, so much. And I use it all the time. I use it at least, well, not at least. I usually, usually use it once a week. Uh, and I feel like it does make a huge difference in my skin. And it's just kind of been clogged lately. And I think that's because um, it's been so hot and humid outside. And it's just... She just needs a deep clean. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm also using the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Anything that I use and I don't talk about or that I do talk about, I will link down below for you guys to purchase. This is just the original, um, like, yellow Bum Bum Cream. I do love it, indeed. Anyways, I had somebody message me yesterday. Me and Caitlin went shopping in Lexington, and we went to the summit. And I had a girl message me, and uh, I haven't got the chance to respond yet, but she said that she had also just gone through a breakup and that she loved seeing me out like living my life and having joy and and just like having fun and she was like it's honestly helped me so much and I just like kind of paused and thought about that and I was like dang you don't realize like what an impact you have on other people just by like living your life and just by you know saying oh hey this is what I'm going through but I'm still having like I still have joy in all this and so this morning <clears throat> uh after I got done working out like during my prayer time and stuff I was just like I want to be an example to other people and like, what, what was I going to say? Basically, she was just saying that like, she enjoys seeing me live my life and have fun, even given like the circumstances of, you know, like the current situation in my life. And that just really struck a chord with me. And I was like, dang, number one, it meant the world. But number two, sometimes I think we forget, uh, that other people are like watching us, even if we don't like know that other people are watching us. Obviously on YouTube, I know people are seeing what I post, but you never know the impact that you're gonna have on somebody. You never know uh, how they're gonna take or see things or what their response is going to be to it. And so just to know that she was getting joy out of seeing me live my life and me have joy was just, it gave me a lot of peace and like it made me happy. So anyway, this morning, whenever I was in the gym, I was getting ready to walk over and I was listening to uh, Firm Foundation by Maverick City Music. It came on my shuffle. And I was sitting there and I was just thinking, I was like, I feel like there, there's like a sermon or something that I need to hear or see today. And like my eyes and ears and heart are open for that. And so then I got on my watch later on YouTube. And honestly, lately I've not been watching YouTube at all. Like I really have not. Like no beauty videos, nothing like that. Um, I kind of just feel like I'm in this season of my life where it's like I'm stripping off all the old Katie in the best way possible. Like I'm still going to watch these videos. I still love these people and have watched them for a million years. But it's just a little bit different. Like, the things that I'm watching are a little bit different now. The things that I'm leaning into, the things I'm reading, the music I'm listening to, etc. is a little bit different. Um, just for the season of life. And um, so I watched this church by a church I've never... Uh, or I watched this sermon by a church I've never listened to before called Vu Church, V-O-U-S. And um, anyway, I was just listening to their message and stuff. And it was by their pastor. I think his name is something Wilkerson. I'm not positive. But anyways, I'd seen him speak at Transformation Church before, and it was ta he was talking about joy. Like, his whole message and his whole sermon was about joy. And how, one thing that he said that really stood out to me is he was like, the chains and the shackles and all the things that you're in that are weighing you down, you can either allow them to break your joy, or you can allow your joy to break them. And I was like, that's the truth. Because it really is. It's like, there's so much going on in so many people's lives, in my life, and and yours and whoever's somebody that you know that just really weighs on you and brings you down and are hard things to cope with and are hard things to um like just deal with in general and then we have to remind ourselves like you can let these things break you you can allow these things to make you really sad you can allow these things to affect your everyday life to affect your mood to affect your health to affect your physical body to you know do all these things or you can say i'm not gonna allow this to happen even when it's really difficult and hard because i remember i remember you know i'll remember a day that i went over to my gym and was just crying so hard. I thought, I don't, I didn't even know that it was humanly possible for a, for a body to sob like this. I did not know. I was like, I am, my abs hurt. Like my body hurt and ached and my face hurt 
from just crying tears and being in like so much emotional pain. And in those times, it's really difficult to get up and be like, you know what, I'm not going to let the, the circumstances, I'm not going to let these chains like break my joy. But there's a time for that. And there's a time where you get up and you say, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not leaning into all these feelings. I'm going to go with what I know is true. And I just had to remind myself, like, I know that God has a plan for me. I know that God has a plan for you. I know that it's a plan to prosper me and not to harm me. And I know that whatever this season of life, how bad it may be or how bad it may seem, there's a plan. And it's not anything that I have to do on my own. I think that a lot of times being a big planner like I am, I always am like, well, I need to figure this out. And I need to figure this out. And this is what I need to do in this season. And, you know, how am I going to get to here? And how am I going to do X, Y, and Z? And it's easy to get overwhelmed and it's easy to get upset and put all the pressure on yourself whenever it's so much better for your mental health, your physical health, your emotional health, your spiritual health. It's so much better for you in general just to be like, you know what? I'm just going to take a deep breath and realize that I don't have to do this on my own. Matter of fact, it's a lot better if I don't do this on my own. And I'm just like, you know what, God? Here's my burden. Here's the issue that I'm dealing with. You take it because I know that you have a better plan than I could even fathom, you know? And so just while he was talking, and I'll link that sermon down below for you all, but just while he was talking about um, not allowing things to break you, and allowing your joy to break those things, I was just like, that speaks volumes, especially like in today's society. And there's so much going on. It's easy to get overwhelmed. It's easy to get upset by it and all that kind of stuff. I used to be so affected by if somebody sent me a mean comment, if somebody um, sent me a mean DM or commented something rude on my um, YouTube or whatever it was. And I just would just like take it personal. And now I'm like, it doesn't even cross my mind to take anything personal. It's all very surface level for me. It's all like, I don't really care because I know that you're dealing with something and it's not going to affect the way that I project my feelings. So you may be yelling at me, you may be screaming, you may be whatever, but I know where I'm at mentally and emotionally and spiritually and it's just not going to bother me. And to be in this headspace that I'm in and that I have been in is the healthiest, best place I've ever been in my life and I can't wait to see how it like continues to go. But that's just my little two cents. I wanted to get it out while it was on my mind and right after I listened to that sermon. I'm going to marinate my mask a little bit more. Um, I have this pimple that freaking hurts. Like she's a painful pimple and, um, that's the take on that. So I'm trying to exfoliate my face chemically and get that out of the way and say, you're dirty rotten. You're a dirty rotten pimple. Get out. Um, and then I'll show you guys some of my other skincare products. I'll show you some jewelry. I think it's going to be a long video, but I wanted to put that little, that little snippet in here. Um, because I thought it was important. So I'm going to finish moisturizing the rest of my body and we'll get into some other things later. Okay. So I know this vlog was a little bit choppy, um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed and all the things that I talked about will be linked down below. Don't forget about the Marlowe pillows and you can get two with 25% off or you can get four with 40% off. Um, and that's a really, really good deal, especially for Marlowe. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. And I hope that you have a fabulous day.